Hello, this is a tutorial on solving linear programming problems using Microsoft Excel. I have selected a small problem consisting of three variables and three constraints for you, a maximization problem, and I have identified the basic matrices and vectors which are involved. Matrix A, the coefficient of the variables in the main constraint set are identified in the green box um, below. The row vector C, which consists of the coefficient of the objective function variables, is identified 3, 5, and 4, coefficients of x1 and x2 and x3. And the column vector B, which is the right-hand side values, or resources 18, 20, and 15 is identified. I have basically copied the same vectors in the left hand side of this tutorial. So vector C, matrix A are both identified in this case. The column vector B is identified as well as the signs are written in the in this format. We need to have this format to be able to solve this problem. Now there are a number of places that I have colored them blue. These are the areas that you have to actually do the calculation for using values of x1 and x2 and x3. For example, the z value will be written as a formula which will identify the z to be the coefficients multiplied by the value of the variables. We are starting the values of the variables with 0 and as we change them Later on, as you would see, the solver will change, will, will use these values to find the optimal solution. In this case, I am simply multiplying the cells. The value of the z is found by using a formula. It's multiplying 3 by 0, 5 by 0, and 4 by 0, and it will add it up together to calculate the value of the zero. I will repeat pretty much the same thing but this time I'm going to be using a function for you. And this function is some product function which is which you can identify that. So you will be using the regular equal signs and then the name of the function. And inside the function we are going to be identifying the two arrays that are going to be multiplied by each other or the product of these two vectors. One of them is of course the first row that we have in here and the second one are the values of x's. The values of x1 and x2 and x3 to keep them fixed, I use the dollar sign in front of their location. Now I can basically drag the handle and it would do the same thing. Now each one of those cells is the right product. At this point, I go to the data, I select Solver, and Solver is one of the add-ins in Microsoft Excel. When you select Solver, it has a number of locations that you need to identify. The first one is Set Objective. Our objective location you click on that and it will show up whether the problem is maximization or minimization you will identify that it is going to ask you which variables are you going to be changing so you will block that 
that row which is associated with x1 and x2 and x3 now we are going to be putting the constraints in there as you add individual constraints you need to identify which cell is the reference cell for you you will identify what the sign is and which cell is the restriction level and you add to that another one and you add to that another one now notice that the signs the less than or equal or greater than signs that I have in there were not really necessary for my operation but I put them in there because I wanted to make sure to select the right sign when I am inside add constraint so I have added all these three constraints now I would say make unconstrained variables non-negative because that's what my uh, problem is all x's are greater than or equal zero we can also choose to add those constraints to the list those constraints in here as non-negativity constraints so they are added there as one of the constraints now you will select solving you will select the solver and the solver solution and you click on answer and say OK and the answer will be showing up and in an additional worksheet next to the worksheet that you have this is the solution that solvers solver have has provided for us and these are the values for the x1 x2 and x3 3.10 and 11.6 with the final value of z to be 56 you notice that at the end of the process these value will be shown in the actual worksheet as well